Hello there, my name is Ismail, and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And today we're going to be looking at how to use chromatic aberration in your glass or light through a glass resin. And uh, basically, what it is is that uh, when light, when white light passes through a uh, glass, uh, it is refracted at different angles depending on its wavelength. And uh, white light is a combination of different colors. It's, uh, for example, in Blender we use RGB, which is uh, red, blue, and green to achieve white light. So we're going to try and uh, refract it, refract every channel at a different angle to replicate how it would be refracted if it was uh, of a different wavelength uh, passing through a medium. So yes, this is these are the re this is the results we we are going to be using, looking at it, achieving. So you can see that uh, uh, the blue, red, and green are being refracted. Uh, different angles. Uh, that's why you see that uh, they are being separated. Uh, they they are separate in the uh, in some areas here. So this is chromatic aberration, and uh, yeah, it really makes your scene look more realistic. Your glass look a, a bit more realistic. And uh, we are going to try and uh, see how we can use that uh, on a, on an object with a different with a material like this. So you can see this object has its own material so we are going to try and uh, combine this with the textures that uh, all the node setup we have here to and uh, see how that will look so uh, by the way if you want to download this model you can just become a patron and uh, will, you will be able to download uh, that model also you'll be supporting the channel and uh, another thing i want you to check out is uh, my second channel uh, blender money uh, where uh, where i upload uh, the time lapse videos that i used to upload on uh, top channel one on one uh, yeah, because I want to keep top channel one on one as a step by step tutorial and uh, this Blender Money channel, uh, a time lapse, uh, more advanced tutorial uh, channel. So let's go back to this and uh, uh, see how we can achieve this. So I'll just create a new project here and I'll switch to shading, uh, remove this. Then I want to have, I'll switch to rendered mode here. Uh, we want to have something in the background we want to refract refract so let me first add a Suzanne monkey here and uh, uh, control 2 to add uh, a subdivision surface of 2 uh, level 2 and uh, small shade it I uh, will add a background environment texture so that we have something to refract let me add this yes yeah, so let's start working on this shader so we can use the principal BSD shader because it has all the values we need to do the same thing. Um, but uh, the problem is that uh, we have a lot of other values we are not going to use here. And uh, you can see this takes up a lot of space and uh, I don't want to keep the space too cluttered uh, since we're going to use a combination of different shaders, uh, three for each uh, color, red, red, blue, and green. Uh, which should represent the different wavelength of light so uh, as it passes through uh, the medium so let's use a different shader uh, that has enough controls but not too many uh, that we're not going to use uh, the refraction shader is uh, good enough for this so I'll add uh, that let me make sure this is recording good uh, so if we connect this to the surface shader you can see that uh, we are getting a clear glass and uh, we can use the color here to control uh, the color of the, uh, which is basically would represent the different wavelength of uh, of uh, of the of the light. So let me revert this back to white. And uh, as I said, uh, the color white is a combination of different uh, channels. We have the RGB, and this should represent our different wavelengths. Uh, so what we're going to do is duplicate this. Uh, refraction uh, shader into three channels so this is going to be uh, blue sorry red and then this should be green and this should be should be blue so when you combine these uh, you get white and uh, just to prove it to you uh, if we add and the add shader combine this with this and then combine uh, this with this. You can see we get the same uh, results as we had when we had white light coming through. You can see there is no difference uh, because this is a 
this is the same uh, the white is made up of uh, these three channels and uh, we have combined them we have separated them and then combined them uh, to to achieve the same results so like in the gra in, in the glass rhythm uh, light comes in and then it's refracted at different angles so assume that uh, this is uh, the light coming in and uh, to to create the same effect we are going to change uh, the angle of refraction here uh, or the IOR the index of refraction so if we change it uh, for the green you can see now the green is being refracted at different angles and uh, if we change it to for the blue you can see uh, but uh, we need to make sure you need to make sure that uh, this angle is separate from all the others uh, so should this and uh, uh, and the other so you can see uh, the red is that re is reflected at a different angle uh, the green is reflected at a, refracted at a different angle and uh, so is the blue uh, to achieve uh, those results and uh, so this is what we have so uh, in the shader we have this re roughness value and uh, you can you can use it to control the roughness so let me show you how it looks before we separate the channel so the refractive index connect this you can use it to control the roughness of the glass and uh, since we have separated uh, the channels we would have to do this for each uh, for each for each channel uh, to achieve the roughness uh, but uh, you can see it's a lot of work so what i'm going to do is add a node here that can help us control uh, that roughness at the same time all the channels at the same time so if you hit shift a input there is uh, the value node uh, this can help you control uh, one control different values using one node so you can see now we have set the roughness of all these nodes at uh, 2.5 and uh, we can control the roughness directly like this instead of going in and changing every channel we want. And uh, if you want, you can also add a texture map uh, to control uh, the roughness here. So instead of using a value like this, you can add a texture, image texture. Uh, let's find something interesting here. So let me find Maybe this. Hmm. Let's go with that. So you can also use this as uh, your your input. Uh, but uh, just to have better control over it, I can have a car ramp added to this. And uh, so this this is the map we are going to be using. And uh, kind of connect these to uh, the roughness. you can see what we are achieving maybe if you wanted you can also invert this come on, invert and uh, to control the value we can add uh, convert math node here and just control uh, the roughness like that but uh, that's not needed uh, for this but you can even see that uh, we still have the chromatic aberration there 